Okay, we have a pretty cool video here of Jason Day. And we want to look at a couple things. This is really, really cool what he's able to accomplish here, chipping with the short game. So we're going to um, try to copy what he does and see if we can make it work. But let's just take a quick look. Here on this side here, um, we just want to focus on a couple things. I want to look at his knee action here as he hits the ball. Just keep an eye on this here as he goes through. Okay, notice his knee, he actually comes down. It's lower here than when we started. So he's squatting down, he maintains that squat. He's not standing up through the chip. So that's something to keep in mind, okay, on this back angle. So let's look at um, the face on view over here for a second. And I wanna look at a couple things. We wanna see if he actually comes forward. A lot of times in shots, you, you have a tendency to, I guess you just wanna move forward. You, I mean, it makes sense. You wanna kinda of hit through the ball and move forward. And if you do it in your short game, you're gonna do it in your full swing. Some people used to kind of teach that method, but we want to look at it here in the short game. Notice as Jason Day hits this shot, he rotates, and you just look, we're focusing on his body, not necessarily his arms, his arms have to come forward. But look as he turns through, we're going to take a look at something kind of neat here. He turns through, and I had that line on his body. Look at that, I'll stop right there. This line was on his body. And now there's a slight gap between that line and his body as he rotates. And he certainly didn't move forward. His legs didn't come forward at all. So we know he's rotating and not moving forward. And in fact, he's creating some space between where he was and where he is. So it's kind of like he's almost moving backwards. And if we look over here on the left side and we draw a line just up his back, we'll notice that his back, as he comes through the shot, just rotates and really turns towards us back. So this is something we wanna focus on. We all know that Jason Day is a great chipper and he has little or no wrist action on most of his shots, sand shots, everything. If you notice his wrists coming through um, the shot, you know, he, taking it back, he doesn't move his wrists. He, he keeps those very, very, solid all the way through the shot. It's a very consistent way to, to chip and pitch the ball. He utilizes the bounce on the club to create the height and trajectory and the shot he's looking for instead of manipulating that with his wrists. So as we look at Jason Day's technique here, you know he's not whipping that club inside. A lot of times I'll do that just to shallow out the club. And I'll show you that uh, when we get outside. But we wanna practice Jason Day's method here. And it's taking that club outside, you know, keeping it above the plane. And then he comes through and chipping. This is such a great technique. And just rotate around and actually back. Not, not leaning backwards with your feet and your weight isn't on your back foot but you're rotating around. You could transfer that weight to your front foot without moving forward. And so that's what we want to try to copy.